welcome back to another video from the Denali Design Lab. My name is Nate Bastian. I'm the Director of Product Development and we are filming here in the shop today so we can show you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes of our development process, show you what we develop when we bring vehicles in the shop and how you can outfit those vehicles with the products that we make. So this week we are super excited. We have a highly anticipated bike in the shop this week. It is the Harley Davidson Pan America. So let's take a look. So here she is on the lift and whether you love or hate the styling of this bike, you gotta give Harley some credit. It's super unique. They're doing quite a few different things here and it is, uh, it's a it's pretty cool looking bike. So when we get this in where you can see we've already started to strip it down, we start to do all of our mount development and our wiring adapters. So we got Greg over here working on all of our vehicle specific wiring adapters for plugging in all of our lights. And then we got Ned over here who's working on the mount. So right up here you can see uh, he's got a little um, mock-up light mount that we're working on. And um, you can see what that's looking like in, in CAD right here. So one of the most useful things we can show you guys in the beginning of our R&D process is just how we get the bike completely stripped down and we go over all of the factory wiring so we understand where all the connections are, where all the circuits are, and how we're going to access all that to install the Denali accessories. So this is a super valuable resource for anybody new to their bike and just wanting to know where everything is on your Harley-Davidson Pan Am. I gotta say the first thing we noticed when this bike came into our shop was the unique location of the battery on this Harley Pan Am. It's right underneath the motor, um, underneath the skid plate. So to access the battery and the terminals, we just removed the skid plate and you can see that down there. So that will make things um, a little bit different than most vehicles when it comes to wiring, but certainly uh, at, at least it's easily accessible. Um, another cool thing is how easily you can access a lot of the wiring under the hood. So um, Ned here is just gonna pull this panel off and this thing is held in with four rubber bumpers and with no tool, you can pop that right off and that's going to expose all of the wiring on the front end of the vehicle. So moving from front to back as we go through all the wiring on this bike, we'll see that removing that front panel gives you nice and easy access to the factory headlight. That's this plug right here that was plugged into the back. It's a four pin connector and that's where we're gonna be able to pick up our high beam, low beam, switched power and ground. Um, you'll also see that the turn signals on this bike are on the left right side here under the headlight and those are routed right inside here as well. So if I pull the wheel to the right a little bit, you can see that um, there's a bank of connectors right in here and the one to the farthest left is your turn signal connector. So on these Harleys, they're using these uh, right here, four pin connectors and they're using gray on the left side of the bike and black on the right side of the bike. Um, so those are some important connectors that we'll definitely be tapping into for hooking up our lights and our turn signals and our DRLs and all that kind of stuff. Um, they do have the horn mounted right underneath here and that's where we'll be able to uh, hook up connections for adding sound bomb horns and using horn features on our dial dim harness. Um, if we move towards the back of the bike, we've just uh, removed the seat and removed the top rack assembly here. And some of the first things I can show you under the seat is gonna be um, this red connector is your diagnostic connector. That's where we would eventually be hooking up a can smart when that's ready. Um, right dead center here, you can see there's a, a black and a purple wire coming out. That's actually the factory fog light connection, but this plug that it's plugged into is your accessory power. That's rated for 15 amps. It has three wires out the back and that's gonna be a great circuit for hooking up accessories or connecting to a switched power source. Directly next to that, we have the um, factory heated gear port, so that's pretty cool. And directly above that is the four pin brake light. So we've removed the bolts on this panel and I'm just gonna flip this up and have Ned hold it for me. So we can look underneath the very tail of the bike. That's the brake light connector again. 
and under here you can see it's easily exposing your left turn signal here your right turn signal here and that middle guy is your license plate light which is just going to be switched power and ground so that's pretty much the uh the rundown of all the electronics that we're going to be needing to hook up to and you'll see in our next videos that we are going to be making plug and play adapters and that's how we'll be hooking up all of our Denali accessories to this Harley Pan Am. So we're gonna keep this first video short and sweet. We just wanted to show you guys a rundown of the electronics on this bike. Um, definitely like and subscribe so you can get notified when we release the next videos in this series where we're gonna be showing you exactly what adapters we developed and how to use those adapters to hook up all of our accessories to this bike.